Good morning, everyone. Sorry that I wasn't able to get the video up during the evening, but the Royals-Giants World Series game kept me, you know, laser-focused onto that game, and then I decided to go ahead and do a sunset longboard session. But anyway, overall, great day. I did something a little bit different on FOMC Wednesday. I decided to actually track one stock intraday. In the morning, ACCO was clearly the one in play as the news was good enough in that one compared to all the others. So I decided to do one thing and focus on that one. Unfortunately, it never set up intraday, never got any pattern, any bounce, any basing, any correct breakout without any choppy action. So no trade was made. But why I pinpointed laser focus on that day is because FOMC days. I hate these days. I hate the volatility in the day. However, by the end of the day, when I checked on the final prices, I have to say excellent intraday session. Technically, we have a distribution day in the NASDAQ here, down 0.33%. NASDAQ 100, excuse me, everyone. <laughs> the NASDAQ 100 down 0.39%. That was hilarious. Um, but on heavier volume, so technically it's a distribution day. But overall, excellent intraday rebound with the volume. One of the key things also on the session is that in, that individual stocks in my scans, I had very little breakdowns, very few shorts looked like, oh man, this is a short I want to take in a bear market. And I saw no big reversals in any really canceling or perfect speculator stock. The NYSE also big intraday reversal. Russell 2000 intraday reversal. Just everywhere you look, S&P 500, there was a nice bullish intraday reversal. And overall, that's a nice consolidation. If we go ahead and break out of this range tomorrow higher, a lot of our models are going to be on buy signals. The S&P 500 will be on a buy signal. The New York Stock Exchange, if it gets above the 50-day moving average, will move to a buy signal. The Russell 2000, if it breaks above this range, will move to a buy signal. And the NASDAQ 100, a renew high, will switch that to a buy signal. And same thing with NASDAQ. We get out above this range, it will go to buy signal. I put on seven new longs yesterday, and I went ahead, and in the morning, as it was gapping down, I went ahead and went long NYRT anyway. Uh, hindsight, who I made a mistake. My ultimate final sell stop was at 1074. I came two cents away of getting it hit, but it did not hit. And if you want to know what that was, it was these lows right here. That's where I put my oh shit sell stop. But it missed it and it rallied back, so it's kind of lucky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out or get out of right around two thirds of the position. We'll let a third ride since there was such a huge intraday reversal. But I got it. Basically, the premise was because the balance of power, price, and volume look great. It no longer does. So the trade thesis is kind of gone, even though the fundamentals are good. So 66% sell on NYRT. And then PBYI did not move higher immediately, closing below the 50-day moving average. And if it would have closed below the low a day here, it would have been a 75% sell. As it is, it's a 50% sell, so cut half of PBYI. And while there, I want to show you some of these medical-related stocks. ZLTQ, beautiful breakout here. It's just up too much in one day for me. I'll probably regret it, but watch this one tomorrow, maybe even for intraday breakouts. ANIP, INSY, all of these, that's a solid, solid signal. I wish I was 100% sure that we were breaking out and moving higher here. I know it looks good, and I know I just need one more day. But INSY still, if I go to an arithmetic chart, it's still pretty deep in its base. And a lot of these have earnings coming up, so they're not in the clear. And that's the other big issue with most of these. But still, there are some nice, there is some nice price action out there. And even in the IPO biotechnology stocks like CNCE, AKAO, like I just showed, and CSLT, which is um, Castle Light Health Computer Software Medical Related Stock. Nice retake of the 50-day moving average. You can see BOP in volume is looking strong. So there's a lot of good stocks out there. But the one I'm going to go long is RUBI. RUBI is an earnings winner, and it was heavily focused on amongst momentum chat rooms, low price stock chat rooms, user groups, message boards, Twitter, whatever. So we focused on this one intraday, expecting a big, big move. We didn't get it day one, two, three, or on day four. But day four, the intraday action on an overall end-of-day basis, one 5.30-minute chart looks very, very strong. So an end-of-day trend-following signal can be entered here. I'm going to split the order up to a market and limit at 11.42, just in case it gaps up in the morning. But I'll monitor it. If it starts to move down lower after hours, I'll just go ahead and do a market order at the open. But we know where we'll... The 50-day moving average is right there if you're wrong or you can use the low of 1061 as your final cut loss.